Good morning, today I'm going to show you my top 10 free WordPress block themes as of May 2023. There's some amazing themes you're about to see both from a design point of view and also from a sort of functionality point of view. There's some really, really cool use cases on how people are using block themes. If you want to take any of these block themes for a spin, I've installed them all on a training website, a one-click website that you can have a play with. Link in description below. Just click on it and it'll fire you up everything pre-installed. Also, if you do want to learn more about block themes, I have a few spaces left on my June course. Again, link in description below. But without further ado, here are my top 10 WordPress block themes of 2023. How about this for a really clever way of using Gutenberg and a block theme? This is called the Stacks theme from WordPress.org. And essentially, it's like a presentation on your site that you can just create this really nice presentation feel to your site. You could use this within your site as well. I'll show you in a second how it's being built. But I just think it's a really, really interesting way of presenting information. Let's go and see actually how this has been built in the back end. So I'm just going to go into the site editor, into templates. And essentially, all they've done here if we click on the list view, is they've added a whole bunch of stack blocks, which is just a variation on the group block. And you'll see within that we've got another group and then another group, and then actually we've got some content. And what they've done, they've used the sticky position at the top level here in this stack group. We can see over here we've, they've used the sticky position, and that means that sticks when they get to the top of the next stack underneath. And each stack flows up here has the sticky position applied. But I think it's a really, really interesting way of presenting information. You see they've added these nice little round corners on the group block as well, just using the radius setting. If you like themes with a very clean and almost minimalistic approach, then take a look at the Frost theme from WP Engine and Brian Gardner. Here it is up on the screen. It comes with a whole bunch of very subtle little theme variations here. It comes with a nice selection of block patterns as well. Here we go to patterns and let's look at a few of these. So we've got them all featured down here. Let's look at a call to action one and all you need to do is click on the block pattern you want to insert. And there we go, there it is within the page. There's loads more in here as well. They're nicely tightly focused. There's not hundreds, but the ones that are in here are really nice. And again, very clean and very minimally designed. I've chosen the next theme, UniBlock, because it features some really interesting design elements that have been built just using the core Gutenberg blocks. No third party plugins are needed for this. And one of these is this lovely overlay image effect here. I'll show you in a second how they've actually done that when I take you behind the scenes. But if I scroll down here, you can see again, it's a very clean and minimalistic theme that would be great for a corporate website. Very, very simple to use. Let's go in and see how they've created that overlay effect as well. You can see all they've done is added a group block and you can sort of see it here. But within that group block, they've actually added a gradient, which is here, the background. And the gradient is here, but it's got a very strict point here. So it doesn't flow. And you'll see if I turn it off, that's all they've done. They've added this gradient and then an image block within the container block. The next theme is called the upside down theme and I've chosen it primarily because, well, I think it looks fantastic and it's very clean. It's basically meant for blogs. There's two things I really love about it though. Obviously it's got a very unique layout here, very clean and very simple and nothing like a normal WordPress website. I really like this menu actually, just how simple this menu is, this little vertical menu. And I also really love when you go into the single post template here, just how big the images are and how simple and big and content driven the site is now. Carrying on the same design principles of big and bold and simple is the Abisco theme. This is great if you want to run a portfolio website. You can see here it is up on the screen. Each one of these is a single post, but just look at the size of these headlines. I mean, they're really bold and they're very opinionated, but personally, I think they're absolutely fantastic, especially if you're a photographer. Something like this would be absolutely great for your site. The next theme is called Gutenify, and I've chosen it for a number of reasons. The first is it's a theme that has this nice left-hand vertical menu. Again, I really like these. I think they're really clean and simple. It's basically a photography theme. That's how it's aimed. But you can see it's got some really nice effects if I scroll down here. The very subtle rollovers that they've just added into the theme. Again, we're just using core Gutenberg blocks at this point, but they've added some extra source to make it sing a little bit louder.
The next theme is called Green Shift and it's getting a lot of love in some of the forums that I hang out in. It comes with a companion plugin which adds extra functionality in terms of its own blocks. But it also comes with some really nice built-in page layouts that you can use quite easily in the full site editor. Here's a few examples of them up on the screen now. It also comes with some nice style variations. You can see me clicking on them over on the left here. It also comes with some menu options as well, like a mega menu dropdown, which I haven't tested yet. So I'm gonna do a full review of GreenShift, hopefully over the next few weeks. Next up is a theme called Disco, and I chose this primarily because it's crazy. And I think we need more craziness in block themes and in WordPress. I'm a bit fed up of all the WordPress websites in the world. In fact, many websites in the world looking exactly the same. That definitely can't be said of this theme. This is what it looks like. And these are the single posts. Let's go and have a look at a single post layout. Now, you're probably going to sit there and say, well, this is really horrible. I absolutely hate this. But, you know, this is very, very opinionated and it has a real personality. And I think we need to see more of this sort of stuff within WordPress and block themes. And that's the great thing about block themes. You can really impose your style and your personality on your website. Next up is the default 2023 theme from wordpress.org. You can see it here up on the screen. And here's two examples of some sites that I've recently built using it. I do these sites in about 30 minutes, so check out my other videos if you wanna see how I built these. But it's a very malleable theme. You can really design anything you like using it. But it, because it's the 2023 theme, you can be assured that all the blocks within it, all your core Gutenberg blocks, uh, will work beautifully. joint first place is the brand new block theme called Ollie and it's beautiful beautifully built beautifully designed but where it really really majors is on block patterns I've never seen a theme with so many beautifully designed block patterns we can see them here and they're just all perfectly designed and there's many of them you can see them here so you can actually just click on these and build your pages really quickly they even have page templates themselves so if we come into patterns you'll see down here we've got pages so whole pages have been designed so you can super fast design your pages let's say you want to design an about page you just come to pages come down here there's an about page click on that and there's your about page all ready for you to go and change the content ollie also comes with some really nice subtle beautifully designed style variations keep your eye on this central panel here as I change the style variation over on the left, you'll see the colors are subtly changing and these are global styles. So these will affect all the designs site-wide. And in joint first place as well is the new Spectra theme from the team behind the Astra theme, Brainstorm Force. Again, it's a beautifully built block theme very simple to edit. It has a few extra features, which I'm gonna show you now as well, which take it kind of above and beyond normal functionality you get within the site editor. There are two additional options that you get within the header. You can see them over on the right here. The first is to enable a sticky header. This gives you this option here. You see, as I scroll up, the header is now stuck to the top of the screen. And the second option, if I disable that, is this enable transparent header. Spectra One also comes with a whole range of style variations. You can see them all listed over on the left here. Some really beautiful stuff. And again, it's one click and the entire design of your website over on the right will change. And then two really nice additions to Spectra One. The first one is the ability to hide your page titles. In certain situations, you don't want your page titles to show. Spectral One make that super easy. So in this case, I can just update this. Let's go and have a look at it. And you'll see my page title has gone. That's really useful. The second thing, which is really cool, again, I think it's pretty much unique in a block theme at the moment, is the responsive settings down here. So you can actually hide specific blocks on specific devices. So that's my top 10 free block themes for 2023. Did I miss any out that you love? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this one useful. If you did, if you can hit the like button now, it would be amazing because it really, 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 really makes a huge difference in terms of how this video is spread around YouTube. So if you can, that'd be amazing. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>